Some foreign companies in East China's Zhejiang province have said that the country's adjustment and optimization of epidemic prevention measures provide favorable conditions for expanding their business in the Chinese market. Just speaking of 2022, we did manage to have our best growth uh, over the last decades. We managed to score about a 300 million RMB order uh, for a very large project in Saudi Arabia and for a German engineering company. I think today we have to, uh, to look back and understand that the end result was that the country remained stable, efficient and very productive all out the pandemic. I'm talking from 2020 to 2023, and that today we are back online as strong as we have ever been. 我们公司的话，每年，呃，疫情三年以来，每年都会保持一个生产以及销售的增长。从二一年八月份启用了，呃，这家新工厂，那从原先传统的手工组装工厂，逐步逐步进化为数字化、自动化的一个智能工厂。我们对中国市场充满信心。得益于我们现在呃灵活的防疫政策的一个调整，包括企业和员工可以很快的投入到正常的一个生产生活中。那我们今年我们总部的我们德国老板也计划就是说六月份到中国来拜访客户，拓展业务。去了不同的省份，看到了中国巨大的市场需求。呃，格林斯巴和中国决定继续在中国加大研发和投资的力度。The IMF's recently released World Economic Outlook report predicted that China's economic growth rate will increase from 3.0% in 2022 to 5.2% in 2023.